Hello and welcome back. Now, in our third session, in this session we are now going to actually work with first the lighting and also we had a problem in our previous animation. If we are seeing the animation, the moon was not orbiting the earth in the right way. So, we are going to fix it and we are also going to do the lighting and we are going to set up the star background. So, let us start. Now, if you I have already launched unity and in this unity, if I play the game, what you can observe is say I am seeing it from the top view, you can see the rotation of the moon is not correctly moving with the earth. So, to solve this problem what we have to now do is I will stop the playback, I will select moon and I will make moon the child of earth. So, once I make moon the child of earth, now to make it the child of earth I have to just drag it and drop it over the earth. So, now you can see moon is the child of earth. So, now if I save this and if now if I test the game and see how the rotations are going on, now you can see that the moon is correctly orbiting around the earth. See? So, this problem is solved by making moon the child of earth. Now, the next thing here what we want is, we will not have a global light like this in solar system the light source itself is sun and all light is going to come only from sun. So, for that reason I will stop the playback, I will come here and I will select this direction light, right click and delete it, I have totally removed that light. So, now there is no light except for the ambient light. Now, the next thing is I am going to add a new light. I will come to this plus sign here or right click and you have one option here lights and I am going to now choose a point light. So, I will select a point light, selecting the point light now, I am going to now call this light as sunlight, press F2 and rename it as sunlight. And now, this sunlight where it should be present, I it should be within the sun. If you select the sun, its origin point is 0, 0, 0. So, I will select sunlight and I will reset its transform. So, that sunlight and the sun are at the same position. Now, the next thing I want is, I want next uh, here in the option of the sun. Uh, you have shadow type, I will enable soft shadows. So, I am, I am going to enable the shadows and then the next thing here is, I want this light to be the child of sun. So, I will drag it and put it above the sun. So, now sunlight is within sun, it is and then now, I will just check and see if the lighting is right. So, to check it now what I will do is I will select the main camera and move it a little closer to see how all things are appearing. Now, the thing is I will select the sunlight and you have range here. I can change the range and cover the range to cover the entire planetary system. So, the entire range is covered and intensity I am going to slightly increase. See, as I increase the intensity, you can see the intensity is increasing. Okay. Uh, I will just select the main camera and I will just move around and see how the lighting is coming or I will just uh, play the game and I will check it. So, when I play the game, see okay. So, now it is rotating and you can see that uh, you have the daylight side, you have the light and the back side it is dark. Okay. So, this is working out to be fine. So, now the lighting is fine, you are seeing the lighting correctly. Only thing is I will stop the playback. 
Now I will come here, I have a render setting here. If you come to component rendering, in rendering you have light. If I choose this render light and here in the rendering light, this lighting what you are seeing, this lighting is connected to the main camera and in the main camera you have one ambient light, we call this as ambient light and I will reduce this ambient light intensity a little and I will make it slightly grayish and slightly orange like this. Okay, I will reduce this intensity slightly so that I have the light from the sun appear brighter. Okay. So, now I have reduced it a little. So, I have set its value somewhere what I will do is in RGB, I will set its value to 150 R, 150 G and 150 B. I have made it grayish and then after this I have made this change and next what I am now going to do is in the display background it is showing as sky box. Uh, let us check and see, I will select the camera, I will move it around and see, uh, I will select the rotation tool slightly rotate and see how it appears. I will play the game and see, so how the earth is moving. Okay, so let us just check whether the intensity is right. Okay, so now I will stop the playback. Okay, and now I will come to this light intensity and I will increase it a little. Instead of 100, I will make this value 75, 75, and 75. I will increase the ambient light a little more. And after this, the next job I want is I want to change the background. As you can see here, right now you have in the camera the background is rendered as sky box and now I want this sky box to be a star or made up of stars. How are we going to do it? For this, I will come to materials here, I will right click and I am now going to create a new material and I am going to call this material as star material. I will give it the name as star material and then in the shader instead of using the standard shader here I am now going to use sky box. So, when I select sky box now what happens is you have various option six sided cube map panoramic and procedural this is all about how a 360 degree image is interpreted in the sky box. Now, I am going to use six sided, six sided means this is just like a cube map. So, when I choose six sided, it is asking me to allot six actual uh, that is uh, textures. So, for this what I will do is if I click on select here, you have all the textures and I am going to select this space texture. I will select space texture for uh, front, I will select space texture for back, then I will select uh, space uh, texture for left, for all the side I am going to choose this space uh, texture. So, for right also on, on all the six sides I am selecting this space uh, texture. So, right now uh, what this is going to now do is See here, your camera and your entire scene is kept inside a cube. That is, you are, your entire environment is inside a cube and the cube will have six faces and for every face I have allotted a, that is a texture and all the texture. So, now this is like you have kept it, you are staying within a cube and now the thing is for the background I have to now choose this star material. So, for that what I am now going to do is now in the main camera if you see the component in the camera below that you have the camera component and in the camera component if you just roll down 
you have sky box here. So, sky box is disabled or enabled and in this sky box now you have custom sky box and here I am going to click here none of the material is now set. I will just click here and I am now going to use this star material. So, when I select the star material in this sky box see now what happened is our background totally has turned into stars. So, now I will just enable here so play maximized I will just enable this option and now if I play this game see now what happens is this is going to come full screen and now you can see how our actual scenario is going to appear. So, you are seeing our uh, entire scenario is rendering. So, we have the stars on the background, the sun is there and we have all these planets moving around. So, all these are working fine. So, I will stop the playback after this. So, we have in this session added we corrected uh, revolving of the moon and then we also corrected we added the light through the sun and then we established a star background by creating a sky box material and attaching it to the sky box. So, with these things done our next mission is how the viewer is going to see it how are we going to control the camera this part we will be covering it in our next session. Thank you.